is clear. Go. Hello, subscribers. Ah, uh, mm, both of you. Thank you for chipping in for the one and only Jeremy Lee, the voice of female V in Cyberpunk 2077. If you follow the channel, you know that alongside Cyberpunk, I am an anime aficionado. So, for me, it was both exciting and surprising to find out that my favourite voice actress landed the pivotal role of Femme V. Coincidence? I do not see coincidence. I see providence. In anticipation of spending more than 500 hours of listening to Jeremy kick everyone's ass in Night City, let's delve into some Jeremy Lay lore for the uninitiated. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine too. How about you, Aina? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. Deeper more than a cunt out of combat. Jeremy was born July 19th, 1988, originally from Texas. She is a voice actor, producer, and writer. She has provided the voice for a cornucopia of notable characters in anime and games. Her corpus of work includes... I wish my land was beautiful and peaceful again! <gasps> so be it! With you, an old friend is still a friend, right? Well, there's one in front of you right now asking for a second chance. So open your eyes, stash face. The hell is that huge thing? I uh, know. You're pretty useless, you know that. Don't break too quickly now. Time to take you out. Well, that's easier said than done. The box was always saying absurd things. She couldn't see how it was supposed to be a support assistant. But there was always something about me that was different than other girls. I've got the first prototype of the DT project up and running. Well, up and floating. I had to cut the legs off to reduce drag, but DT looks way more intimidating as a flying legless torso of pure awesomeness. Plus, I've equipped it with some big old Digistruck claws that destroyed all the target dummies I built in the backyard, and it, it accidentally got this stray cat that hopped in the line of fire, but that was her bad. So I'm making some serious progress, long story short. Ran into some hiccups, though. I mean, I haven't figured out a cool way to quickly Digistruct DT into existence. I built a big spawning rod for it, but it's just, you know, it's big. It's inelegant, it's ugly, it's a tube of metal, you gotta carry it around, and I can't figure out how to lift it. Hey. Give us a lift out of here. No problem. My name is Komaru Nayegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. Damn it, that's really good. <laughs> then what's that shame for, you big fat sack of meld? For guys, the girls can be sexy and funny and awesome all at the same time, which is kind of cool. In command of the Knights of the Blood Oath. You'll obey my orders. Like it or not. Stare. About the only thing I'm gonna pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I'm on a crusade. Amen, I know. So, you've finally shown yourself, evil swordsman Fritz. I... Plakta, alchemist of justice, shall defeat you. Taste my bomb throw of judgment! Hold up a second, Asahi. Is something wrong? I just remembered some urgent business I need to attend to right away. Wait here for me. Because it can't be a crime to protect the people you care about! <sighs> An outlander, huh? <sighs> well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so. Ta! I'm here to honor you with my presence. I decided on the cake with strawberries. Here, see? For Minako, the goddess of love! So if she needs some help, I can strip down the details. And open the raging tumultuous gates! The power of fairy tales! This is it! I'm placing all of our guilt's pride into this one attack! What happened then, Minerva? I 
I killed her. Shit, Grinny! What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Oh, I'm sure that's all just in your head. Come, look at my Pegasus. What about him? He doesn't seem bothered by you. He doesn't balk when you approach, at least. I'm sure he'd let you ride. He can sense that you're worthy. You really think so? You're kind and gentle in your own way, even if you don't realize it. I'm always awestruck when I see your bravery on the battlefield. <laughs> You're awesome! Thanks, Dash Face! Sugar and spice and everything nice. What in the fuck is happening? How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. I don't know the extent of his shadiness, but I know he's quite skilled. In fact, he's ten levels above you, you piece of shit. And I could save the world, and it's not just one type of girl that can do it, it's anybody, which is a, a great message that I think is very empowering. What fool dares to challenge me? Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! You're on! I tend to protect you, no matter what the cost may be! <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. We'll do what we can, but you owe us a threesome afterwards. Oh, we're the ball gag. Actually, you'll be wearing a harness and saddle. Oh, and there'll be a whip in your ass, so... <laughs> hey! Are you the one here to help with testing? Good, you look tough, you'll do just fine. My name's Alexa, and I'm an outfitter. Nice to meet ya. Should we get started? I wanna get to testing this new skill weaponry ASAP. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm amazing! I've seen, I've seen.